Hello, ladies and gentlemen. May Day, May Day. Yes, it is Friday, May 1st. Uh, beautiful weekend coming up. So hopefully, if you get all of these right, at least for chemistry, you're uh, all on task and uh, set and ready to go. Uh, I'm going to review the questions, uh, the answers to these 20 questions with you very quickly. And uh, we'll figure out next week, next week. We're probably going to be doing a, a live session or two next week. Again, uh, thank you for those of you that uh, came on and tried me, with me on Wednesday. Uh, I learned a lot from that. So for those of you that got up the, a little bit earlier to get on there at 8 o'clock with me, that was fantastic. It's going to help me out with everything next week. Okay, so without further ado, uh, hopefully you're on page 162 in your book. If not, pause and come back. And uh, here we go. Uh, question number 11, uh, I did start with you previously, and I said, in fact, that the answer was 2, and it's still 2. Number 12, the answer is 1. I think the easiest way to realize that it's redox. You see that ZN there, that first ZN? That's at 0. On the other side, it has to be something. So even without figuring everything out, you know that's the one that changed. Number 13, choice 2, same thing. You have both the FE and the S on the left that are zero. On the right, they have to be something. So again, without even figuring it out, you know that's the one that's redox. 14 was previously done. Uh, we said that the answer was choice two electrons. It's electrons that are lost and gained during oxidation and reduction. That uh, Leo says girthing, L-E-O, G-E-R, lost electrons oxidation. Gain electrons reduction. Uh, number 15, which statement correctly describes a redox reaction? Uh, one, oxidation and reduction occur at the same time. Simultaneously means at the same time. You can't have oxidation without reduction. You can't have reduction without oxidation. If something gains an electron, something else must lose the electron. 16 is one that we also did. I had said it was choice three. And it still is. 17, uh, redox stands for reduction and oxidation. So it's both the gain and loss of electrons, choice three. 18, okay. Which participant is transferred, right? Choice four, it is the electrons that are transferred. 19, we did. We said it was choice one. I had detailed it yesterday on my board. I mean, there's another one detailed there. But it was uh, the first one that I had done with you yesterday. Question number 11 is actually detailed in 19. Number 20. Okay. Uh, what occurs when an atom is oxidized? Remember, Ger and Leo. Leo says Ger or what, what, however you want to remember. Some people say the German scientist Leo. Uh, Leo the tiger. I would say Leo the lion. But lions roar. Tires Ger. Like Tony Tiger, right? Frosted Flakes are great. I'm sorry. I got nothing better this morning. <laughs> all right. Uh, but anyhow, uh, with all that nonsense that I just uh, blabbed to you, uh, it makes the answer to 22. It's a loss of electrons. And during the loss of electrons, charges go up because you're minusing a minus. So it becomes more positive. Uh, number 21, uh, great question because it reinforces the concepts that I discussed with you uh, in terms of uh, the word agent. You might see it like on my page, so when I review it, I put three little stars there so I know that there's something else that I wanted to say to you in addition to it. Okay, when a substance is oxidized, it acts as the reducing agent. So the reducing agent gains electrons. That means something else has to lose it. So when it's losing them, it's oxidized. That's why the oxidizing agent makes something else reduce, and the reducing agent makes something else oxidized. So to make a long and hideous story short, if it says reducing agent, just means oxidized. Don't worry about it. Uh, number 22, uh, you have to detail the reaction, do the connections like I did up here to that problem. I'm actually going to come back to that eventually. Uh, I think that was number 26. But in answering number 22, the CO is at zero, 
So that goes up. So that's the one that's oxidized. In PBCL2, the PB is positive 2. So that's reduced. So that makes the answer choice 2. Number 23, uh, which species is oxidized? It's tough because this is in two lines. So if you're looking at it, you're going to see it says before the yield arrow, right? Actually, just before it, it says Fe positive 2. Then after the yield arrow, but on the next line, it's carriage returned because it's a very long equation, you'll see Fe is positive 3. That means Fe is going from 2 to 3. So we want the charge that it is before the change occurs. The positive 2 oxidizes and becomes positive 3. So the answer to 23 is choice 3. Fe positive 2. Okay. 24, which is oxidized. This one's easy. Choice 1, zinc. It's originally at 0. On the other side, it's going to have a positive charge. 25, which species undergoes reduction? Reduction is when it goes down the charge. By gaining electrons, it ga if you have positive 1 and you gain a negative, you go down to 0. Reduction reduces the charge by gaining negatives. Okay, so uh, I was doing 25, so consider the reaction which species undergoes reduction. The SN positive 4, it actually gains two electrons, which is the half reaction stuff that we're going to start next week. You'll see it at the top of the page. Uh, well, the top of the page just under the questions. You'll see the word half reactions. That's our discussion for uh, next week. Uh, 26 we had done. Uh, it was choice one. Right, and it's up there on the board behind me. Uh, number 27, reducing agent. So you're looking for the oxidized. That's it. Reducing agent, you're looking for the oxidized. Don't let the word agent confuse you. Cross out reducing agent. Answer the question as if it said oxidized. So you're looking for the one that goes up. Okay. Choice three, the PB at zero goes up to positive two. So the answer is three. 28, which acts as the oxidizing agent. The oxidizing agent is the one that goes down. Follow me here. You see in the balanced chemical equation, uh, it says CuSO4. Put a positive 2 over the Cu in the CuSO4. Make that a positive 2. And that's the one that actually reduces. Choice 2. It goes down to 0 on the other side. Uh the most common oxidizing agent on the face of the earth is oxygen. Okay? Oxygen itself reduces. It goes from zero to negative two. So it says oxidizing agent. You want the one reduced. Oxygen is zero on the left. You see it says 3O2. Put a zero there. And then on the other side of the equation, in both the SO2 and the H2O, it's negative two. So it's going from zero to negative two. Oxygen is reducing so it's the oxidizing agent it makes other things okay change their charge it forces other things to have their charges go up <clears throat> uh, number 30 uh, we want the oxidizing agent so we want the one reduced it's choice 3 the AG positive goes from positive 1 to 0. And the last one, number 31, uh, in a redox reaction, the reducing agent. So we're looking for the oxidized. So the answer is 2. And in a question like this, a great thing to note, choices 2 and 3 are your only possible answers. 1 and 4 are wrong because it's gain electrons reduction, loss electrons oxidation. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start coming up with a schedule this week for uh, live hours. It's probably going to be either Tuesday or Thursday. I got to look at how the schedules uh, are going to work. Uh, it's going to be like, I think I'm going to do 45 minutes on whichever is your lab day. I think like Monday is going to be day one, Tuesday, day two. Wednesday is a work day for students. And then same pattern for Thursday and Friday. So we have to do one live lesson a week. I will definitely admire you. Have a great weekend and uh, take care.